WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. The Dow up 229 points. The S&P is up two, basically flat. The NASDAQ is not flat. It's off 147. That's down 1%. The Russell's up, but it's flat. It's down one point. The semis are not flat. They're off 68 points. That's 2% to the downside. You've got gold trading up 815, 1946 to the print. Silver's printing at 2491, that's 17 pennies to the upside. Lights we crude up nearly a buck, 9698 there. Natural gas off eight cents. It does have a TD nine count top. So it is uh, preparing for a bit of a retracement. And the 30 year treasury up one point and three ticks. 143.05 is the uh, print. Let's go spend a little time with our indice charts out there. I don't think we've done that all week. But we're going to do it. We're going to end the week that way. And you're going to see the Dow that's in the upper left-hand corner. The one thing you want to notice about the Dow, or should notice, is price right now is trading above that green oscillator and change line. That tells us the Dow has a rising price oscillator above zero. Those are bullish conditions. And as long as that uh, stays, then what the Dow is communicating to us is it wants to head higher and likely wants to go target that 35 431 area. It's not getting the support it needs from the S&P 500 because price is still below its green oscillator and change line. Nor is it getting support from the Nasdaq 100. Price is below its green oscillator and change line. The Russell 2000 isn't helping out either. It's just an inside day there. Uh, but again, not the same signal that we get from the Dow. The only time we get a signal that supports the move in the Dow is coming from the New York Stock Exchange, which happens to be above its green oscillator and change line. That's printed at 16,682. Says we have a rising price oscillator above zero, which would suggest a move to 16,969. If you take a look at the semis out here, today is going to become bar number eight. The semis should. Not that they will, but they should form a bottom between today and Tuesday of next week. So we'll certainly want to keep an eye on that. The transports out there look like they still want to go tackle the uh, lows of February, the February 24th low out there. And the NASDAQ composite, um, just inside day-ish here, not really providing us with a ton of information. But it is below its green oscillator and change line. And that says that a further retracement is in order. So summarize here, you got the Dow and the, S and the, Dow and the New York Stock exchange they both say they want higher price the others are looking at each other cross-eyed saying really folks stay tuned your favorite polar bear david white's up next after that tom o'brien will take us on home i'll be back with you on monday magnificent monday have a wonderful weekend folks